Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to give you an unboxing and overview of the AOC I2360PHU. Um, this monitor is an IPS um, backlit LCD monitor. Uh, this um, current model is a 23 inch um, size monitor as well. Uh, it, has with, it comes with a 5 millisecond uh, G2G uh, response time, uh, G2G being grey to grey. Uh, and is at 60 Hertz when running at 1080p. So it is aimed at more professional users um, for people who well, want this to be used in an office and the IPS monitors mean that they've got really nice color uh, to them. So as you can see here are some instructions on how to um, place the monitor on a wall for example and um, if you want to place it or pivot it um, anywhere you want. It's also got an energy rating of B, which is actually very good um, in terms of um, energy efficiency. And so what I'm going to do is unbox it uh, for starters and show you what's inside the box and then connect it up to my PC and see how it looks like in comparison to my LG monitor. So first and foremost we get um, a set of DVI cables, which I'm going to open just to make sure that they are indeed DVI cables. Indeed, they are the DVI cables, uh, DVI cable which is provided right there, which we're going to use later on to connect up to the PC. Then we've got a set of VGA cables, uh, which I wouldn't suggest using uh, if you've got DVI in your PC, but it's always nice to have it included in the box uh, with a monitor. Then I've got a, a power cord, obviously, to power uh, the monitor. And then I've got a USB connection which will be used um, in order to connect the USB uh, to the computer uh, enabling the USB slots which should be on the monitor. So I'm going to plug that in as well. It's a USB 2.0 uh, port. And here we've got a type of clip slash uh, cable management. So we'll get this out. get the monitor out like so I'm going to put it down over here I will just move it around in just a bit here are your CDs and a 3.5 to 3.5 um, jack silver plated and this must be the drivers and software and whatnot um, for the monitor and finally, we've got the stand over here, which does turn like so. So we've got that there. And apart from that, we've got nothing else in the box. So I'm going to put the thing in here, get this out, and bring you forward the monitor. So you can see the monitor looks very nice, it's a widescreen monitor. It is pretty heavy I must say in terms of um, in terms of how heavy it, it is. But uh, as you can see over there you can see the jacks. Um, it's got HDMI, DVI, VGA and you've got your um, aux in. Um, aux in, yeah it's a, it's a sound in terms of, well it's a sound and the headphone, headphone out. Um, on this side you've got um, USB connections as you can see and obviously that's the USB connection going to the PC and this is the power switch over there at the bottom right you've got the keys over here to navigate the menu and whatnot and to switch on and off the monitor on the left hand side of the monitor you've got a little light and you've got a, the um, AOC written um, logo right there. It's got LED written at the top left and the model number written on the top right um, and from the back just looks like this. It looks very nice I must say the finish looks really good it's like a carbon, not carbon-esque but almost like a piano finish which seems very nice indeed and uh, so what we're gonna do is now put it together so it should be reasonably simple in terms of assembling this, it should be simply a almost a plug and play. So I'll put that in there. And 
and then at the bottom, tighten it up. Just try and make sure that it's nice and tight. Last thing you want, as you can see, is for it to fall. And there we go, now it's nice and solid. So the beauty of this professional, um, the professional range uh, from AOC is the fact that it can go up and down. As you can see over there, it goes up and down. It also has that, so you can pivot it, tilt it. So I'm going to show you this from the side, it might make more sense. So it goes up and down, and tilts quite significantly, I must say, which is very good. And it can also pivot. So it can pivot from landscape to portrait very easily and very securely as well. It seems to be quite sturdy as well, which is very nice, which is quite surprising because the base is actually reasonably light, whereas the monitor itself is very heavy. So what I'm going to do is uh, come back with an overview, uh, well, overview video. This was the unboxing um, and the features it's got, and I'm going to plug it into my uh, computer and see how it looks like in terms of the colors. Hey guys, so I'm back, and as you can see, the monitor is set up. I'm just going to show you how it looks like on my desk so as you can see it is nicely set up right there um, and it, lo it does look very nice so I've been playing around with some settings and uh, just checking how uh, the menu looks like and everything and it seems pretty straightforward and pretty good uh, to use so you've got um, the buttons over here apart from the on and off button and what I'm going to do first is turn it off as in just switch it off from there and then turn it back on so first of all, as you can see, one um, one feature that you should see is that it comes on with the AOC logo right there uh, before it switches on. Um, going into the different buttons over here, first of all, the one at the furthest left, uh, if you click on it, you get a selection of inputs. So you've got VGA, which is uh, D-sub, you've got DVI, which is my computer, and you've got HDMI, which is my Xbox. When you've made the selection, you want to go to the one to the right, just to the left of the power button, and hit it once, and it will switch over to um, the input. So usually that should go to HDMI, and there you go, it's on a HDMI, and it's a FIFA 14 trailer. And I'm going to show you this in just a second, and the reason why I'm going to show you this is because of the sound. So going back to the PC, which is DVI, which seems pretty easy to switch between, um, between modes, which is pretty nice and uh, pretty good. Um, you can select um, and go into the menu. Uh, with this button, uh, with this button to the right, which we use to select. So if we press th press this one, it will come up with a little menu at the bottom, which looks pretty nice and pretty kind of 3D esque, not rather like 2D and whatnot. And here you can select all your settings. So here you've got your color setup. Um, at the color setup, you can choose the. Um, oh, I wasn't doing anything there. Um, over here, you can choose your color setup. So you got color temp. Um, which I've put to user, but you can change this um, and you can go to warm, normal, cool, um, sRGB and user. Uh, so I've left, it, I've left it to user because it gives me the most control um, over what I want. Um, you've got DCB mode and DCB demo um, and you've got the red, green and blue selections right there. Then we go to picture boost which you can change um, bits of the of uh, the screen. Um, I'm not going to use it because I don't actually need it but you can do it if needs be. Um, OSD setup which is this basically it says height position, vertical position, um, the language and the timeout. As you can see the timeout was 10 so therefore when I'm inactive for about 10 it comes off like so. There's also an extras tab which gives you the input selector. Um, here you can choose um, if you want what's the um, 
the the input going to be. I would choose DVI normally, but um, I'd rather go on auto because sometimes I don't have my computer on whilst I have my Xbox on, so that's quite useful. You've got other settings as well, giving you the resolution and the uh, height frequency and vertical frequency. If I haven't mentioned already, this runs at 60 hertz. And you've got the luminance tab, which uh, allows you to set your contrast. Uh, I've got to say, when I got the monitor, it was set to 100 contrast and looked quite odd. Uh, the brightness is one thing I'd like to talk about. The brightness doesn't seem as bright as my LG monitor. That is at 94. Um, usually, I have my mo uh, my LG monitor at around uh, 20. Um, so you can see there's a huge difference in terms of the numbers right there, but um, for me it doesn't seem as bright as my LG monitor. That said, it is still very bright, but just not as bright as my LG IPS 234V. And that similarly has the same specifications as the AOC. It's uh, 6 milliseconds uh, G2G. Um, this one is, uh, sorry, um, both of them are uh, 5 milliseconds G2G pretty much and um, they have pretty much the same uh, connections however the AOC is much more versatile in terms of um, positioning it's got the older tilt pivot and uh, pivot controls it's also got the USB settings which I'm just going to touch upon in just a second going back into the menu uh, you've got the exit button and and that's about it so now going into the quick shortcuts You've also got the one on the left which changes um, the different modes, so it goes text, internet, game mode, um, different modes like this. So you can choose which mode you want. And I'm just going to go back into the settings and change it back to the one I wanted, the one I had before, which is in color setup if I'm not mistaken. It is indeed. I've changed it to user and what it's done right now is it has changed the uh, luminance to text so I'm going to change that from text to standard to what I had before. The one to the right determines the uh, right of that, so the right arrow determines the volume. So you've got the volume key over here, and this is basically for anything connected via HDMI, because HDMI is the only source that can transmit sound. There's also the 3.5mm jack that you can put into the computer, but uh, in terms of connection-wise, it's the uh, HDMI, and that's why I'm going to show you the FIFA trailer to show you the sound. Um, and the one to the right again just as I said opens up the menu so those are the buttons down there which are quite useful and quite easy to understand and very straightforward and they also look quite quite nice so I'm gonna go and show you the sound of this monitor go into HDMI and play the trailer Now, I'm not sure if you're able to hear, but the sound is very tinny. Um, it is very, it's got no sort of life in terms of how, how, um, how loud it can go. Just to give you an example, I'm going to open up YouTube on my sound system and put in the FIFA 14 trailer as well and open up the FIFA 14 trailer. I think there's a different one anyway, but it doesn't really matter. Just to show you the sound differences. So as you can see there's a huge difference and hopefully that little demonstration shows you the difference between my sound system and the 
um, sound coming out the speakers. Now, I appreciate AOC putting those speakers in there because it's quite useful for professionals out there, but the sound is very tinny and not very good at all. Um, I wouldn't rate it for sound and I wouldn't use it for sound. If anything, um, it would be better if um, people could plug in their headphones, earphones or whatnot, or even speakers into their computers directly rather than using the sound from the monitor because it is actually quite disappointing. But the monitor is quite well priced and to have speakers as well is very good. Uh, the price of the monitor as I've been looking around is between £130 and £170 which is quite quite well priced because my LG monitor was £110 um, and it, this has more features in terms of what it can do. Now there's another thing I want to show you with this monitor, a little feature on the monitor is the USB port on the side. The USB ports both work which are pretty useful. Um, the top one is advertised as having a quick, um, a quick uh, charge um, and whereas the bottom one isn't. So therefore if you want to charge devices like your Galaxy S3 you plug it in over here and it has a fast charge uh, over there so you obviously have to have fast charge enabled and whatnot but it charges the um, charges up the device with the top port and USB port works over there. The USB port works at the top one as well um, that's it I haven't found it to work all the time but it does work. There's also two USB ports um, uh, the underneath which should work as well. So those are the features of the monitor and my first impressions of the monitor are very positive. The colors look very, very nice. Um, they seem very vibrant and very nice in terms of I don't need any sort of color calibration. I think it's perfect as it is. The only thing which is a little bit um, disappointing is one, the sound that came out of the monitor and secondly, the actual brightness of the monitor is not super bright. So that is one thing I have noticed about the monitor that are two points that I, should, I will probably bring up in my review. But that said, these are my first impressions and I'm going to give it much more time and thought uh, before creating a review. And definitely what I'm going to be doing in my review is showing um, gaming performance because you can see the... Um, it's not a gaming monitor but that said it, is, it can be used for gaming like my LG um, has been doing and therefore I'm going to see how it performs on games both via HDMI and DVI. Not like it's going to make any sort of difference in terms of input wise but I'm going to test them out both uh, on both console and PC and also I'm going to test how it looks like just generally and how my eyes seem to um, cope with the, the, the monitor itself because I found that some monitors uh, give me a little bit of eye strain, I don't know why but some of them do and this has certain things like energy save and an eye care. So, and that's the last point that I'm going to um, finish on is actually the um, the software. Now the driver installation and whatnot, I put in the CD and it just sends me into a link um, which seems pretty, um, I don't know, pretty weird. I did try and download the software and whatnot and did download a few softwares but two of them didn't really work. One of them really didn't apply to me um, and the other one is this energy saver thing so it gets, it lets you um, control how you want your monitor to be. Uh, depending on your uh, state of the PC. So as you can see it says when PC is on, off, sleep or screensaver what the monitor will do um, in terms of what it's going to, uh, how it's going to react so when the monitor, how, when the monitor is going to go off um, which is quite useful but it's not a feature I would want to use because I don't want it to interfere with my Windows settings and I'm guessing that's what it does. It interferes with Windows settings and uh, changes them accordingly. But that said, it's a good uh, useful software to have and as I said the drivers didn't really install. Um, I think uh, Windows installed them itself but the CD provided was pretty much useless um, and I actually ended up going via the AOC website um, and uh, downloading the softwares and whatnot via there. So anyway guys, I hope this uh, video has been helpful. I know it's been quite long, but I ho hope it's been uh, helpful enough in terms of um, a little overview and uh, first impressions and an unboxing of the monitor. 
um, it's just uh, useful uh, to have as a reference and definitely a review will be coming up either a video review or just a written review will be coming up of the monitor and how it performs and obviously I'm going to give it some time uh, I'm definitely one of those reviewers that has to uh, give his true opinion and if I want to give my true opinion I have to test it out for just a little bit of time before uh, formulating an opinion and reviewing it for you guys anyway guys Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do like the video if you liked it. And do leave a comment below what you think of the monitor or the pricing of the monitor or if you own the monitor, how it's been performing so far. Anyway guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.